I disagree with the way that uh, Governor DeSantis has taken on Disney. I disagree with what Disney said. But since when does government use the power of government to punish a business because they exercised free speech? To me, that's not America. It's not a conservative principle. We are witnessing the beginning of a Republican civil war, and I am living for all of the drama. We can disagree, and we can even vote as consumers. I'm not going to go there. But to use the power of government to go after your largest employer or a significant employer in the state doesn't make sense to me. That melted sad Southern pumpkin is Asa Hutchinson, former governor of Arkansas, who's now running for president, who is polling at 1% in the Republican primary polls. And he was seen here responding to DeSantis's attacks on woke Disney. But what's more laughable than DeSantis's nonsense hate fetish towards woke Disney is Asa Hutchinson thinking that this is gonna somehow be a winning message for Republican voters. Meanwhile, you have Don and Ron, those star-crossed lovers taking pot shots at one another over who's more ultra MAGA and anti-woke. He is going left on a lot of the fiscal. He's going left on culture. He's even sided with Disney against me. I don't know what happened to Donald Trump. This is a different guy today than when he was running in 2015 and 2016. Ron came to see me, tears in his eyes. He said, I need you to do me a big favor. First he asked for the meeting, then he asked me for the favor. I said, what's the favor? Would you endorse me? I fought for you, but again, he. a lot of people fought for me. But the Republican civil war and drama continues with DeSantis claiming he's taking the side of Disney in our fight down here in Florida. I'm standing for the parents. But then Donald Trump responded on his true social claiming, Ron Sanctimonious just stated without correction on Fox and Friends that I was backing Disney. Wrong. Fox should have read my posted truth on Disney, but that's not the game they play. Also, I'm up in the polls. I am beating Biden by a lot. Rob isn't. Also, way up on Ron. I like how he had Rob and Ron. Does he know he's talking about the same person? Anyway, check out DeSantis' speech at the Trump rally I gave to get him elected. Not easy. Rate my Trump impression 1 out of 10 in the comments. <laughs> Look, all of this is incredibly entertaining, but notice how their critiques of each other completely lack any and all substance and are incredibly vague. That's because the Republican Party primaries have become nothing more than ultra MAGA anti-woke virtue signaling from overgrown men trying to assert dominance in some childish way amongst each other. It's like monkeys in competing against each other, whoever can throw the most poop to assert their dominance. And then there's poor Mike Pence and his attempt. I like Walt Disney, not woke Disney. And uh, I fully support uh, what Florida did in challenging um, a, a, a left-wing agenda for children under third grade. In fact, I'd like to see them expand that. Ooh, that was cringeworthy. Bro's not going to last one minute on a debate stage with Donald Trump. But look, flashback to the beginning of this video with Asa Hutchinson, the guy that was responding to DeSantis's woke Disney nonsense. Asa Hutchinson represents the old guard, the dying part of the Republican Party, which is actively being defeated in the civil war against the MAGA super anti-woke part with Trump. Trump and DeSantis. The Republican Party has changed because of Trump. No longer do they talk about economic issues because they know they have a losing message when it comes to the economy. It was a disgrace what's going on. That is a disgrace. Trickle down economics, tax cuts for the rich, those things aren't popular. So in order to get elected, they have to manufacture nonsense issues like critical race theory or making LGBTQ people into scary groomers or pedophiles in order to rile up their base to get elected. Elected. It's all a distraction. Republicans know they lose on the economy, so they have to create these issues in order to distract their largely poor white older audience into voting for them. So while all this drama and this Republican civil war is incredibly entertaining and I'm living for every single moment of it, it does show a deeper reality of what's happening to one of our two major political parties in this country. And I'm going to continue to report on it, so make sure to come back to all of my videos on TYT here. My my name is Scott Johnson. You can find more of me on my YouTube, which is in the description below, as well as my TikTok. We had a great morning show this morning, 3,000 viewers. And most importantly, do not forget to smash that subscribe button to the breakdown. And happy first day of Pride.